Yeah, let's go uh, further and look at now parametric equations of a line. So if the vector v that gives the direction of the line L is written in components in component form as v equals uh, this uh, a, yeah, the triangle bracket for uh, vector components, a, b, c, then we have t, uh, t, v equals to uh, t, a, t, b, t, c. And again, remember the, the vector v is this direction right here parallel to the line. All right. Uh, we can also write r equals to uh, x, y, z, and then r naught equals to the components x, x naught, y naught, z naught. So the earlier vector equation becomes, so this vector equation right here, and write these all in component form. Uh, it's going to be r naught equals to, let's write the, or let's write the whole thing, t, v, vector like that. And then all in component form, this is uh, the same as writing x, y z is equal to fix up the z yeah x y z equals to uh, this is x naught first uh, starting point y naught and then z naught like that and then plus uh, t oh, let's write this for completeness yeah plus and then this is the t times v uh, where V is A, B, C, and then T, uh, T times V is going to be T, A, T, B, etc. T, C. So T, A, T, B, T, C. And those are the components, like that. And since they are components, we can just add these all up. So this is going to be, and I'll write this out so we can box this whole equation. X, Y, Z, like this. What these commas better equals two and then add these up so vector addition uh, just uh, x naught plus ta etc so x naught plus ta plus ta and then this uh not then we put a uh, comma yeah the next one's gonna be y naught plus t b comma then the uh, z component z naught plus t c like that and box this whole thing in and uh actually i'm just gonna rearrange this because my calculus book rearranges this. it writes a t a b t etc again that's just, just copying my calculus book and yeah just, just flip it around like that it doesn't change anything but just the notation just how it looks like all right so that's written in vectors uh but now uh two vectors they are equal if and only if their corresponding components are equal so therefore if these two vectors are equal each component is equal to it so this x is going to equal to this, this y is equal to this, etc. And the z is equal to this right here, equals to this. So uh, therefore we have the three scalar equations as opposed to writing in this vector component form. We can write these as scalars, so there's no vectors involved. Yeah, so x equals 2, well this is going to be this part. So x naught plus a t. And then the next one is y equals to y naught plus b t. And then the next one is z uh, equals to z naught plus c t like that. And let's just make this in the center. Move this over. So yeah, these are the three scalar equations. And the t value is defined for all real numbers. So t is an element of the set of all real numbers. It could be anything positive, or negative, and so on, as long as it's a real number, not a complex that we've defined it for in this particular case. And uh, now these equations are called parametric equations of the line L through the point p naught, x naught, uh, y naught, uh, z naught, and parallel to the vector v with components a, b, and c. Again, the uh, parametric equations, because they all have this parameter t there. And uh, each value of the parameter t gives a point x, y, z, or x, y, z on the line L. It's very, very interesting. All right, and uh, now let's continue further and take a look at an example on this. So example one, and this states, find a vector equation and parametric equations for the line that pass through the point P135 and is parallel to the vector i plus 4j minus 2k. Yeah, and this is the uh, written in standard basis vector form. And then part b says find two other points on the line. 
So uh, the solution to 1a, we got to find the vector and parametric equations. So let's gra graph out what we are given first hand, yeah, just, to, uh, just to grasp it. All right, so what we have is, let's just draw this uh, z. It's like this, and then we have the y, like this. And let's draw the z. The x is going to be something like this. That's our x. And now the points that we are asked to graph is 5, 1, 3. So we have 5. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the first point. And then 1. It goes down like this one. And then it goes up 3. 1, 2, 3. So it should be somewhere around like here-ish. Let's say this is the point. Uh, this is the point right here. 5, 1, 3. And that's the point. And it's going to have all the position vector or not like that that's the it, it, it aims over there and it's parallel to the vector i this is going to be uh, i4 uh and then negative two yes yeah, so in other words uh, the v is going to be well one so if we start from here it's going to be parallel to it so let's go one uh x y's and then we're going to go four on the y direction we're going to go one two three four like that so it should be somewhere above above here and then it's going to go minus two it's going to go in minus two direction so let's say it goes like this let's go one two three four and then minus two one two so it's going to be going down this vector like that let's call this as our v vector oh. over here is to erase that uh, stuff there's those vectors like that to be pointing down and this is going to be at our i uh, plus 4j minus uh, 2k that. and that's parallel to it so then uh, let's just it's going to be right on it so we're dry, gr growing it right on it like that and there's that line l like that it's going downwards like that all right so that's what we have is well we got uh, r uh, r naught is equal to and write this in center basis form just to make it all the same well, we'll write this first like this in component form is going to be 5, 1, 3, and then this equals to 5i plus uh, j plus 3k. Like that. All right, we have that. And the next one is, we'll just write our, our uh, regular parallel vector. V, this equals 2. Well, for completeness sake, because we're in both forms, we'll write this as 1. Or negative two in the components like that. This is equals to uh, i plus four j minus two k like that. All right. So the vector equation becomes r not. I mean, uh, just r uh, is going to be equal to. Well, we got to write write the vector equation. Uh, r not. Yeah, r uh, vector plus r not. I mean, equals to R naught plus T V like that, and this just equals two. And yeah, calculus book just wrote them in uh, this this format, so I'll write everything like that. And so then R naught is going to be five I plus uh, J plus three K. And again, it, it's written those components because that's what we were given in here in this vector form. So let's just continue along that. And then it's going to be plus t. And now the the parallel vector is going to be just times it by i plus four j minus two k like that. And this is a t, not a plus. And then combine these all together. So multiply this inside, and then add them all, all the all the terms up. So we're going to have a five plus. This is going to be t i. Yeah, so 5 plus, I'll just write this as yeah, 5 plus t. This is going to be t times i, and then uh, bracket, this is the i standard basis vector. And then the next one's the j, that's going to be 1 plus 4 t. And this is going to be i, I mean j. j like that. All right, and then this is going to be plus, the next one's going to be 3 and minus 2 times t. So 3, 2, t, like this. And this is going to be k, 
like this. All right, so now we have this, wrote the k there, and uh, yeah, so either of these will work because we're asked to find a vector equation and parametric equation. So this one is, uh, is solved. So I'll just put this here as uh, just for completeness, r vector is equal to this. So that's the vector equation. I just box it out, simplified. It, either or, you could just highlight this one too as well, but just simplify to that. All right, so now that we have this vector equation, and now we can just get the parametric, parametric equations easily just uh, by looking at each of these components. Because uh, remember, if we scroll back up, uh, if we have it in this form, so if we write the parametric equation like this and then write it out in like this component form, then we can equa equate the components, x equals to this component, and y and z, etc. So parametric equation is pretty straightforward, so x is gonna equal to five plus t x equals to 5 plus t, y equals to 1 plus 4 t, and then um, here, uh, next one's going to be z equals to 3 minus t. Yeah, so those are the parametric equations, and that's pretty straightforward. And uh, now as a double check, uh, we could uh, yeah, double check the graph using the uh, GeoGebra 3D graphing calculator. So here you can write this in a vector form as R naught 513 like, like this. Here's the inputs I did. And then you could put the uh, the vector right here. Uh, this is for the parallel vector. You have to uh, you have to equate it. Or uh, actually, uh, yeah, I just, I think I used this as a double check, I just forgot. So you could write vector here. This is 0.1513 to the 0.5, uh, then it's added uh, t is equal to 1 there. So, yes, yeah, so you go 5 plus 1, that's 5, yeah, t is 1, 1 plus 4 times 1 is, yeah, like this. And then it just it correctly uh, solves it as 1, 4, negative 2, exactly as this. Anyways, and there's the line uh, right here. This is from the point here, 5, 1, 3, and then with the parallel vector v. And it writes it out like this. This parameter of lambda is just t. This is just equals to t. In the, in the calculator, and it graphs it out like this. Pretty cool. You can even graph out the vectors as well. There's the vector in green here, uh, one four negative two, and there's the red five one three, and it goes there, and it fits perfectly. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And if you click this, let's see what happens. So if I click this, and it's opening up, yeah. So you can play around with it and see what you can find. This is a pretty epic calculator, and let's just see how it is. It's three D graphing calculator. It's loading. Yeah, let's see how long it takes to load. All right. Yeah, pretty epic, guys. Uh, yes, the amount you can see it, all the stuff. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. And uh, you can play around with it. You could turn this vector off, on, this line off and on. Anyways, uh, have fun with that. All right, let's continue further. So now let's look, take a look at the solution to 1b. So choosing the parameter value t gives. Well, again, let's see what, the, what we're asked. We're asked to find two other points on the line. So basically we just add the parameter, change the value of t and find points on it. All right, so let's say we have t equals to one and let's go back to our uh, our parametric equations. So five plus t, one plus four t, three minus two t. So uh, we got five plus t, so x equals to five. Yeah, this is a five plus t and uh, the other one's gonna be um, that, yeah, that's 5 plus t, so in other, in other words, when we plug in t is equal to 1, that goes like that, t equals to 6. Uh, let's just double check again, uh, yeah, this is going to be yeah, 5 plus t, 1 plus 4t, then 3 minus 2t. So, it's going to be y is equal to 1 plus 4 times by 1, that's going to be 5, like that. And then the last one, z is equal to yeah, 3 minus 2t. Yeah, let's see, 3 minus 2t, 3 minus 2t. And then t is 1, this is equals to 3 times, 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. Like that. Yes, uh, so thus, uh, this point is just 651. So thus, 651 is a point on the line. And similarly, choosing t equals negative 1 gives the point 4, negative 3, and 5. And we could see that here. So x equals to 5 minus 1. That's equals to 4. That's correct. And the next one, y is equal to 1 plus 4, negative 1. 
That's going to be 1 minus 4. That equals to negative 3. That's correct. The next one is z equals to 3 minus uh, 2, uh, negative 1. That's going to be minus plus, becomes a plus 2, so that's equals to 5. Like that. So amazing, you have 4, negative 3, and 5.